What is up, designers? I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas. I know I did. We are back with regular uploads on the GFX channel. In today's episode, we're going to be getting vectorized, if you know what I'm saying. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is William. I hope you guys had an outstanding Christmas. I know I did. I got the, uh, one of the, my favorite presents that I got was a Jawbone um, fitness tracker. If you guys don't know anything about me, I'm a fitness enthusiast. I love tracking my uh, steps and all that, but the cool part is it tracks your sleep. And that is one thing that I don't get enough of, um, but I've been getting a lot of recently thanks to it being Christmas and, uh, and the holidays. But anyway, getting back in today's uh, tutorial. Also, let me know what you guys got in the description. I saw a lot of people tweet me some of the graphics tablets that they got. Some people got some GFX merch from our merch store, uh, which is, I mean, that's just awesome. Uh, so d definitely in the comments below, let me know what you guys got for Christmas. Uh, but anyway, we're getting a little vectorized on this episode. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to take a logo that you made, a 2D, it has to be 2D, this doesn't work with 3D, um, but a, a 2D logo that you've made um, and vectorize it. Now, I've been using this trick for, I want to say two years now, um, probably three. I mean, this is a very, s it's so simple to do, uh, but you do have to have Illustrator. It requires Illustrator. Uh, but then you can bring it right back into Photoshop and make it a shape layer. And if you know the shape layers, custom shape layers are all vectorized. Uh, and I mean, I I it's I use this trick so much, it's not even funny. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go to the Zelo logo, which Zelo is my gaming channel, YouTube.com/Zelo, uh, which I ordered everything. So once it's in, I'm gonna start that. But anyway, so here is uh, I was playing around with two different styles here, but this is right here the logo, and uh, you know as you can see like. It's not, right. so dis disregard it, by the way, this was my old Zelo logo, uh, which I lost the thing, so it's kind of like a remake of this, um, but alright, so this right here is just a white uh, triangle, because uh, I didn't like get that right, and I want to make sure that the side was all pointed, oh look at that, it's even got a mistake on it, so that's probably messing up right here, okay, we're going to need to go. I didn't even know about that, so it's a good thing that I caught that. Good thing I caught that, mate. Alright, so there we go. So we're all caught up here, and uh, so let's say we want to vectorize this logo here. We'll just grab your rectangle marquee tool. Now, granted, you want to make sure it's a large file. Um, now, these are all, like, this is going to be, it's not, it's a uh, rasterized layer, so it's not a vector layer. Um, but. You want to make sure it's pretty large. Whenever I make a 2D logo, I always make it in a 3,000 by 3,000 canvas or 10 inch by 10 inch. Um, that way, I know it's going to be large enough for me to do this. Um, so now you just grab your rectangular marquee tool, uh, and since it's contrasted white and black, and you uh, go edit, copy merge. So you're going to copy all this mergedness here. Go to Adobe Illustrator, create a new document, same uh, dimensions. Go ahead and hit OK. Go ahead and paste your logo in your workspace here. Now before you do anything, don't resize it, don't do it. Go ahead and right here, hit image trace. And let that run, then hit expand. All right, now you can go ahead, you're free to blow it up as much as you want. Uh, now you wanna go into your layer, and then you wanna select all the white blank spots. Hit delete, and now right here, you have a 100% vectorized logo um, as illustrated. So now let's say we uh, copy this. Let's go edit, copy, let's drag it back into our Photoshop here, let's go ahead and paste it in, now you have the option to paste it in a smart object, pixels, path, or shape layer, let's go shape layer, now it's going to be huge, look at that, I mean you just saw by the outline how huge that is, um, boop. that looks like a cool avatar, I might have to use that, uh, but then let's shrink it down a little bit. Now that one shape is in the way, but it, now it's just this layer right here. If we wanted to uh, make it a custom, uh, or define custom shape, we can do that as well, like boom. There, oop, I hit the plus, but there you go. So now we have our define custom shape. Basically that's it, right there. I mean, that's how simple it is. It's so simple. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. Now let's, you know, try it with, here we go. We have the GFX certified logo. This is 
for all our GFX certified partners. Uh, boom, here he is. So we want to vectorize this. Now it's already vectorized except for the ring. So perfect. The ring's not vectorized. You just grab it, hit Shift, Command, Copy. Uh, or you can go up there here and hit Copy, Edit, Copy, Merged. Go into Illustrator. Let's go and hide this layer. Create a new layer. Uh, let's paste it in. Let's go Image Trace. Let's go Expand. Now this one's going to have a lot more white. Uh, spaces and see so you want it to be large because if it's not large, it'll uh, deform uh, the logo. So let's go here. We just drag down here. So we got that blank, that blank. If you hold Shift, you can select multiple at a time and go and delete those. Now select all. Command C or file or edit copy. Let's drag it into Photoshop. Let's paste it in there. We'll paste it as a shape layer. You can just see how large it is just from that. Let's go ahead and hide uh, these three layers here. Oops. A little larger than I thought it would be. Cool. Alright, bring it down, down, down. Alright, let's hit U. Uh, let's go define custom shape. GFX cert. There we go. So now we can go into, if we hit U and we're on our custom shape palette, you know, you can see all the custom shapes that I have here. Uh, like there's the Elite Athletic Gear logo, Dribble logo, the WH Weird logo that I just made out of pure fun, the Zelo logos, GFX Certified, GFX logo, GFX, I mean, the eSport logo. I mean, right here, I mean, basically, you, it's so simple. And now it's vectorized, and the best part is once it's vectorized, and it's uh, in your, uh, custom shapes it's going to be vectorizing your custom shapes for as long as you use that photoshop and then you can export it bring it to other computers i mean that's just it's it's such an awesome awesome tool and it's so simple to do i mean you guys just watched it it's a breeze so i want to thank you guys so much for watching if you guys haven't uh, check out these next two videos these are recent videos that i've uploaded and uh, you guys have yourselves a g freaking x day make sure to follow me on twitter at YTZLO, my Twitter handle did change because uh, I'm starting at my gaming channel, youtube.com slash Zelo. So it's at YTZLO and follow the GFX channel at GFXMCN. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, my name is William and you guys have yourselves a fantastic day.